Delray Beach. How are you guys feeling? This is nice. So give it up for the troops. Oh, well, these guys. And the troops, too, you know? Might as well. Let's go. Come on. You guys get a lot more support than the troops. It's okay. Is this thing on? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Very good. You know, this reminds I went to G-Star School of the Arts. Anybody here go to G-Star? <laughs> this black box reminds me of G-Star. I was the first graduating in class of G-Star. Okay? To everybody else, like, what's G-Star? Picture the show Glee, a little bit more gay. I went to G-Star for four years, right? Ninth and twelfth grade. I saw a total of three fights. <laughs> I lost all three fights. <laughs> but, my name is Lalo Rodriguez. Um, I like to clear out the name thing people always ask. I just have 50 push-ups. I'm out of breath right now. So, <laughs> people always ask me, what does Lalo stand for? You know how you call Richard Dick? Doesn't make any sense. I'm Hispanic. So Lalo is short for Jaime Eduardo Rodriguez Arisizabal Orozco Alvarez, and now Echeverri. <laughs> it's a disaster. For some reason, when you're Latino, your parents put every single one of your ancestors' last names on your birth certificate, then you come to the United States and it just fucks everything up for you. I went to the DMV to get my ID printed. It looked like a cheesecake factory menu. <laughs> the lady looks at me, she's like, you're gonna have to choose one of these names. I'm like, you're gonna have to choose one of those names. She's like, I don't even know what to go about. Just call me Carlos. I'll answer to whatever thing that sounds Hispanic. I'm like, what? <laughs> You're a Carlos, aren't you? You're know, it's okay, bro. You're way to hide. You're trying to hide, bro. Two of those right here. I did my first communion at a church in Boynton, and when the priest called me up to receive the body of Christ, he used my birth name. The entire church responded, Amen. <laughs> I'm Eduardo Rodriguez, and this is Samuel Rosco Alvarez, and now Echeverri. You guys want to hear some fucked up Jewish jokes, or what? <laughs> oh, shit! This kid almost threw up the fucking Ziga! Wow! That's crazy. That's wild. I should, actually, I've been in the United States for 20 years. To the date. Today, 20 years of celebrating the United States. <laughs> to marry a white girl is a whole thing. But like, I just want to talk to you guys about that. Like, when you come to the States, it's wild. Like, first of all, your parents never learn how to speak English. Why? Because they have you translating everything for them. Nine years old, responsible for translating our American citizenship application. I look at my dad, I'm like, Dad, I don't speak English. I'm like, yes, you do. I'm like, Dad, I just know how to say fuck shit and thank you very much. He's like, good enough. I'm like, okay. And then the questionnaire, they ask you questions. I'm a nine-year-old kid. It's like, did you come to this country with any contraband? I was like, jeez. <laughs> Are you part of the Medellin cartel? Jeez. <laughs> Do you promise to be a law-abiding citizen in the United States and pay all your taxes? No. <laughs> Like getting assimilated to like just American culture was the thing that I had most trouble with. Like we saw sprinklers for the first time. <laughs> Running water <laughs> on a schedule? <laughs> it's a fucking miracle. <laughs> for the first few months of us being in the United States, me and my parents, we thought it was just communal showers. <laughs> We're all walking outside at six in the morning and Ashley Lake Park just taking showers outside in the lawn. We're like, Every now and then I fuck up, sit down on the grass, wait for them to turn on. Like, Ay. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's fucked up. You're laughing too hard at that, bro. <laughs> Until I got my green card. It was seven to 18 years of me just being afraid of getting deported. Oh my god, dude. Here's the things about how you know someone's it's an illegal immigrant, okay? You ever been on 995? Yeah. And someone's going 45 miles an hour. Yeah. Illegal women. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you ever see a group of kids like doing some fucked up shit? Like for me back in the day, people were stealing cronies off of like tires. Yo, if there's a kid just watching their friends commit the crime, illegal immigration. <laughs> But fuck it, if I saw a skull on some BMW, I'd be like, I'll get deported for this shit. I'll take this, put it on my necks, bro. The third thing how you know that someone's an illegal immigrant is if they have WhatsApp on their phone. It's a giveaway, bro. There's no reason you should have WhatsApp on your phone. Little side note, okay, I'll give you guys a hint. Little cheat code. If you're dating a white person and they have WhatsApp on their phone, they're cheating on you. <laughs> There's no reason. Shit, what's that on your phone? It's crazy. Casey told you guys that I'm a dad. He was talking to you guys about that. That was me earlier. Like, I'm good with kids. I have two kids. Well, I have an 11 year old for my ex wife. She's tall, dark, and handsome. Love her to death. And then I have a three year old. Sorry, a five year old. Six year old. Jesus Christ. Time flies by. She's six year old. She's. Three foot tall, blonde hair, blue eyes, she's Hitler's dream, okay? Uh, now, <laughs> so, I'm, I think I'm fucking them up mentally. Like, I always do dumb shit around them. Like, they were having a birthday party, and we invited a bunch of friends over to the restaurant. And, you know, I'm, I'm a comedian, I'm an entertainer. I wanna make sure everyone's having a good time. One of my girl's kids was like sitting across from me, he was making faces at me. I was like, yo, I'll make faces back, bro, all day. Was like, you know, just doing dumb shit. He's crossing his eyes, looking at me. And I start crossing my eyes looking at him, and we just did that for about 20 minutes. <laughs> then one of the parents comes in and is like, yo, why are you making fun of my kid? <laughs> <laughs> the kid was cross-eyed. I was like, damn, this kid's fucking committed to this, bro. <laughs> Later on, I come back, the kid's pretending to have a heart attack. I'm like, yo, this kid's fucking wild. <laughs> I'm like, no, you're not gonna catch me, Carlos. <laughs> not this time. Barely have peanut butter. Oh, Jesus, gets fucking out of the seizure. Like, oh shit! I started laughing at him, and I got in trouble for laughing at him with peanut allergy. He died. Whatever. Fuck him. <laughs> Can I tell you guys, like, uh, uh, like, so I told you about my my daughter, the six year old. So she she's uh, I came into her life when she was one. She called me dad for the first time during the quarantine. Thank you. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys how she called me dad for the first time. It's, it's a it's a wild ride, okay? So peak quarantine, everything shut down. We live in Wellington, by the way. Fancy neighborhood. You look like you're from Wellington. <laughs> if they look like they fuck horses, they're from Wellington. <laughs> Scott's Place in Wellington. It's a beautiful park. It's got a really, really, really tall slide. And Aria, the six-year-old, she goes to the top of the slide. She looks at me. She's like, hey, I want to fly down the slide. Will you catch me? I'm like, yeah, come on down, bitch. <laughs> By the way, when I'm babysitting my kids and I'm out with them, it looks like I'm babysitting Brangelina's kids because they look nothing like me. So she's at the top of the slide. She starts sliding down. But she didn't do like when normal kids do. They sit down and come down. She took a sprint on the boardwalk. She's like, Down the slide, I'm like, oh fuck, she's not fucking around. <laughs> and her little blonde hair starts sticking up. She starts picking up static. Oh. You know what happens when you pick up static at a park and you touch your friend? You're like, fucking, what's the guy from Mortal Kombat that shocks people? <laughs> No, okay, look, when I was when I was speaking English and I was at the park, this kid shocked me and he, what's the guy from Mortal Kombat? Raiden. Raiden. It's like, I'm um, Raiden Fatality. He touched me and I got shocked. I ran all the way. <laughs> so she's coming down, I just remember that. I'm like, oh no, I'm not going to catch this girl. I'm about to ruin her life, but I have to think quick. The pros and cons of catching her or not catching her. The pros, she's going to remember this moment for the rest of her life. And she's going to feel affirmed. And that can lead her to become valedictorian, successful. She's like, you know what, Dad? I'm going to buy Mom some fake boobs. So you can suck on the Hopefully, like, oh, right? On Sundays, I'm gonna mow the lawn. Go play with mom's tits. That's the kind of shit that goes through my head. No. <laughs> the cons, I was like, look, if you don't catch her, you're gonna fuck her up, mentally and physically. And 
that's going to lead to resentment, which can lead to drug addiction, prostitution, <laughs> or worst case scenario, she's going to wear a mask while driving. <laughs> No, then she's about to exit the slide. And I was like, we're in South Florida. She's fucked either way. <laughs> exit the slide, an explosion of wood chips. She burrows underneath the park like a graboid from Tremors. <laughs> or like, you know when Vegeta gets Kameha through a bunch of clips? That's a little bit funny for you guys. She just kept going. I'm like, fuck. So I found her, I look at her, I pick her up. I'm like, I'm so sorry. She looks at me, she's like, we're supposed to catch me, Daddy. Oh. And that's what she called me Dad for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, thank God, it's just Daddy issues. <laughs> Worst case scenario, she starts an OnlyFans when she's older. Oh. Okay, to the rest of the guys that are here on dates that are acting like they don't know what OnlyFans is. <laughs> OnlyFans, bro. Okay, so let me just say, uh, all right, let me tell you guys what OnlyFans is. Tonight, when your girl goes to sleep, okay, go on incognito on your phone, type in www.onlyfans.com backslash, type in your high school crush's name. No. And if you had a rough quarantine, you might see some nibbles. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Hey.